What's up you guys? Today I'm going to be talking about Workhorse, ticker symbol WKHS. Workhorse has been increasing over the past few days, about 10 days we have been green on Workhorse. Um, a lot of news has been coming out for this stock. Previously it was trading around a dollar, a dollar and 50 cents. Now it's up currently around 21, 22 dollars, up 15% as of right now. I'm going to be talking to you guys if it's a buy or a sell at this moment and what I personally think about this stock. All I ask if you just take five seconds of your time, make sure to hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm gonna go on the computer now to show you guys my thoughts on ticker symbol WKHS. Okay, so we have here ticker symbol WKHS, known as Workhorse. We have here, you can see that we are overextended on this. You know, we would like to see the candles basically on this trend line you can see it's very overextended and you can see basically here the rsi is showing that it's very overbought at the moment so i personally think this stock is a bit overbought at the moment i do think we're going to have a strong pullback for this stock and if we go to different candle charts here we can see let's see the 20 day as well and it is currently trading a bit over valued right here if you guys want to enter i'll personally wait till it's around that 14 dollar range or when it's on sale up to the 10 dollar range i personally think this is somewhat of an overhyped stock a lot of Robinhood traders are trading it just off speculation and personally i i wouldn't get into this stock for those reasons if you look at their balance sheet as well it's not probably the best balance sheet that you want to look at so we're going to go here on market watch to show you guys basically <clears throat> what I what we can see on the cash flow and the balance sheet of workhorse. So we're going to put WKHS right here. So as of right now it's up 15% which is great to see, but if we look at the financials it's really not one of the best balance sheets that we're going to see. We're going to go back here. So if we go to the balance sheet here, you can see guys that as far as assets, total assets, they have $31 million, which is not a lot. That's not that much. And total assets in total, $50 million. And we have the total liabilities at $85 million. So I personally don't see it as a good um, long-term investment they do have 24 million cash in hand they might get a deal with the USPS Postal Service they might get a deal with USPS Postal Service um, but that that deal hasn't finalized as of yet so I personally think I will kind of stay away from WKHS um, just because the, it is overextended I believe it's going to be a falling knife um, for the weeks to come. If anything, my personal opinion is I would probably buy a put put option or short this stock um, with a stop loss. If my personal opinion, I probably make buy a put option as of maybe Friday. If I wanted to short the stock, I would do that as well on Friday. I do think this is a falling knife. I do think that is overextended and it's just a hype stock currently you can see the rsi is very overbought and we should at least bounce back to this moving average to around that 16 dollar range so why is this stock currently um overbought i'm going to go show you guys here we can go here to market watch here and show you guys exactly an article that kind of helped the stock rally these past few days so Tesla has been rallying if if you wanted to invest in more of an innovative company workhorse has been putting out statements that they're, they're going electric and they're going towards that movement this is why it rallied but as of right now it's all basically not not speculation because they have made electric vehicles so far but 
if you wanted to go with that route, I would invest in Tesla and buy fractional shares if you can't afford that $1,200 per share. And I think Tesla is a very good long-term investment if you wanted to um, invest in an um, electric vehicle. But I personally think Workhorse and Nikola are not good stocks to buy. I do think they are going to downtrend very heavily after all this hype is over. And that's just my opinion. You know, I do see it overbought. And if you look here to the yearly chart, look at this. Look how overbought this shows. I mean, I personally can see it all the way to nine dollars it could even touch it it's overextended here you can see the rsi is very overextended for the yearly chart we're going to the 180 chart and you know it should be trading around these these uh levels here around that nine dollar level and i mean it should even be tracing somewhat close up to this so if you wanted to make a good bet I would probably bu buy a put option on workhorse at the moment I do think it's over extended so we're gonna go back to this article workhorse stocks set to snap record win streak so currently it's up 17% as of today it's rallying a lot but I personally think like I said it's just a hype stock I do think if they until they get the agreement with the postal service which could lead up to six to eight billion dollar contract i would stay away from workhorse it's just not my um i just don't see value in it in that sense so hopefully this video helped you out guys i personally don't recommend workhorse just because of i feel like it's somewhat overhyped currently I do think we, we are going to see a big sell-off or a big downtrend after this whole hype is over. I might just currently buy a put option for that because I current I don't I don't see it going above even thirty dollars. If they get the USPS contract for six to eight billion, then maybe. But I currently think it's an overhyped stock, and if you want to buy an innovative electric car, I will go with Tesla. I think Workhorse and Nikola are going to downtrend in the next couple of weeks or months. So hopefully this video helped you out guys. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys on the next video.